I just finished a session with number 180 silicon carbide abrasive. I'm rough grinding this 25 inch uh, telescope mirror. It's going to be f3, f2.9, something in that range. During the course of the 180, uh, I did a lot of extra work to make sure that I had a good spherical curve and also uh, I had a little problem at the center where it was a little bit grainy there. So I did some extra work and after that work I noticed that the edge of the mirror has gotten sharp here. The bevel has been worn off. And you really need to take care of that. If you don't bevel that off, you'll get chips that will come out of it. And that's a bad thing. You just don't want uh, any chipping to mar the cosmetics of the mirror. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Uh, first of all, I run the turntable on this mirror at about, uh, well, I don't know, 4 or 5 RPMs. Not very high. And I'm going to use a rotary tool with a diamond blade on it. This is a, a diamond wheel on the end. And uh, in a situation like this, where this is pretty sharp, I try to use a dull one, a used one, because I don't want to be too aggressive, uh, because it might grab and take a chip out. So I'm using this uh, diamond wheel. I run the rotary tool at full speed. And before I start this, I wet down the whole edge on this mirror. And then also I actually wet down the grinding wheel itself, the diamonds. And basically, you just hold this up there by hand at about a 45 degree angle and uh, do the bevel. It's real simple. Now, that's just a few times around to actually put the big enough bevel on here. It will take me uh, five or six minutes of work. Uh, the sharper the diamonds, of course, the faster it is. One other warning here, if you actually do this with the diamond and grind this way, you'll want to use uh, some sort of a mask or a dust mask or a respirator because you do not want to breathe the uh, glass dust that comes off this. Very unhealthy. Now there's one other thing that I like to do. Uh, during the course of mirror grinding and especially polishing, you get a lot of buildup on the edge of the mirror. Uh, cerium oxide at the end uh, builds up. Sometimes uh, you'll have some staining from the abrasives. And I like to be able to take that off. And the thing that I use to do that is a different kind of diamond tool. This is a diamond hone and uh, they're very inexpensive. These are maybe, I don't know, three for ten dollars or something. Uh, I normally get them from a place called Harbor Freight, which is very inexpensive. And what I do with this, uh, this is another hand job. I wet down the stone, and again, wet down the whole edge of the mirror. And for this, I run the, the mirror at a little higher speed, and I basically just hold this up to the edge. And it is wider than the edge, so uh, you get full coverage on it. The trick, of course, is not to get your knuckles uh, knocked off on the hold downs. So we'll run this up to speed. It's about 60 RPMs or so. Keep it good and wet. Basically, we just hold it up there. And this only takes just a minute or two uh, to take off that little thin layer of uh, junk that may be on the edge of the mirror. Uh, I'll do it on the front here, although it's not as cool. Uh, you like it to be against the mirror turning away from you and not into you. But uh, just to show you a little bit what it looks like, I'll do it from this side. And the trick is you want a little bit of movement on the hone because it has this pattern where it's missing diamonds there. So you need to move it a little bit or else you'll leave little lines on the edge of the mirror. But it only takes a few minutes to uh, clean the edge of your mirror like this and keep it clean during the course of grinding and polishing.